We check in now on the latest cattle market news with our market update brought to you by Cattle Facts. Hello, I'm Marcus Bricks with the Cattle Facts update. Last Friday, the USDA released their June cattle and feed estimate. Pre-report estimates were mostly accurate with all reported values within a percentage point of the estimated number. The number of U.S. cattle on feed as of June 1st totaled 10.6 million head, 2% lower than in 2013. Placements on feed were 7% fewer than 2013. While cattle on feed may be down in the U.S., the number of cattle on feed in Canada is up. Canfax reports cattle on feed in Alberta and Saskatchewan total 960,000 head in May. That's 8.5% higher than 2013 and their largest May number since 2011. Last week's average fed price in Alberta was roughly 153 Canadian dollars per hundredweight. When converted to U.S. dollars, that's closer to 142 dollars per hundredweight. Average U.S. fed steers sold for $149 per hundred last week, about a $7 basis over Canada. U.S. feeder cattle are also pulling a large premium to Canadian feeders. A 550 weight steer calf was selling on average $27 more in the U.S. than Alberta. A 7.5 weight steer was selling on average $13.5 higher. At this time of the year, those price premiums are typically between $1 to $5. Those premiums typically bottom in midsummer and increase seasonally into late fall and early winter. This year we appear to have found a late spring low as the U.S. adjusts to a tighter supply of young cattle. Some producers have turned to imports to make up for lower domestic calf supplies. According to the USDA, feeder cattle imports from Canada have increased about 64,000 head year to date. That's approximately 42% higher than this point in 2013. Feeder cattle imports from Mexico are mostly steady with the average, up only 1% year to date. For the Angus Report and Cattle Facts, I'm Marcus Briggs. To learn more about Cattle Facts, your leading source for beef industry market information, visit cattlefacts.com.